Hello, I am going to share my screen directly. Let's understand one scenario. You know, I have two application servers running. Application server 1 and application server 2. Now, by mistake, okay, I am going to delete this. You know, by mistake, I just terminated one EC2 instance. Who? Oh, it's terminated. Now, once you terminated your instance, there is no way to get it back. Now, just imagine that you have your servers or instances running on the on your AWS platform and accidentally you deleted this. It is your production environment. You know, there are chances that we make this kind of mistakes, right? We want extra layer of protection. So what we can do, we can enable terminate termination protection, right? So what happened, you cannot delete this accidentally. So let me explain you how I can do this. You know, I already deleted application server one. It is terminated now. So I don't want to repeat this mistake for my application server two. So how I can do this, select your instance. Go to action and here we have instance setting and we have one option we call it termination protection. See change termination protection and it is enabled. So now I have enabled termination protection for my application server too. So idea is now there is no way that I will delete this EC2 instance by mistake. Suppose if I'm going to delete this instance, terminate instance, see fail to terminate an inst instance, the instance number may not be terminated, modify its disable API termination, right? So I'm not able to delete this instance by mistake because I just added one extra layer of security. Suppose now I am aware about this, I want to delete this instance, I can. How? First of all, I have to go to the, select your instance, go to action, go to instance setting, change termination protection and remove this protection. Now, click on save. Now, suppose if I want to delete this, I can. So, I just disable termination protection and now if I'm going to click on terminate instance, right, I can delete this. Now, you may have one question that, okay, we got it, but Sometime, suppose I forget to add this layer of security, right? Because I have to enable this once my instance will be ready. Then my instance become ready and I forget to add this layer then. So in this case, you can enable termination protection while you are creating your EC2 instance, right? So there are two ways to enable termination protection. Once while you are creating your instance or if you forget to enable during this time, you can enable this afterward as well. How I already explain you. Now suppose if I am creating new EC2 instance and I want to enable termination protection, how I can do this? Let's say that application server 3. Okay, you have to go to the advanced details. And here you will get termination protection, right? You can enable this while you are creating this EC2 instance. So in the companies, they have standard operation or operating procedure that these instances are really very important. So when you are creating this enable termination protection during, during this process. So if your like when your instance will be ready termination protection will be enabled with them as well so this is how you can enable termination protection there is an option for stop protection right suppose you don't want specifically if you have instance store ami right you don't want that anybody can stop your ec2 instance so you can enable this stop protection as well now i am going to enable this stop protection as well because we already understood the idea of uh, Termination protection. So let's understand the idea of stop protection as well and not going to touch anything. 
let me click on launch instance yeah here i have to provide a key pair i will use cloud fox keys now for all the subsequent practicals so it is done now it will take some time to create this but if i go to the instance that okay let's wait because right now uh, it is under progress so we need to wait you know that i cannot delete this right even now i cannot stop this ec2 instance as well because we have stop protection now i got running so let me try to stop this instance to confirm that you want to stop the instance just stop button below the instance may not be stopped modify the disable api stop instance attribute and try again now if you want to stop this again the procedure remains same you can go to instance setting okay here we have change stop protection you can disable this and now if you want to stop this you can so we have two options one for termination one for one option is for the stop protection you can enable this for your running instance you can also enable this while you are creating your instance how you can disable this i already provided you detail now see these are like a very small options but we are creating separate videos for this why because sometime you may get this kind of questions in the interview or in the exam right suppose if we are mentioning this kind of uh, practical details in one big videos or in the very large video you may forget so that's why we have a separate videos for this kind of very small micro practicals but yes this will help you to remember this kind of topic thank you very much see you in the next video have a nice day goodbye see you